Central Guinea Pig Rescue. Hi everyone, I have got the gorgeous Albie here with me. Albie's having quite a makeover. He's a very large guinea pig as you can see. So there's a number of things we need to take care of. The next thing we're going to look at, we've checked his bottom area down here. That's not been cleaned in five and a half years. So if you haven't seen that video and how we do that, just head on over to the video link above and you can see that or I'll pop it in the description down below. But let's take a peek at these ears. Now, Albie has got a lot of build up in these ears and you can see a lot of material in there that's rather yellow and mucky. Now, when you have ears that are so thick and hard, it's a good idea. You can just attempt to wipe them out like this and most of it, if it's soft, will just move out. If it is too hard, you can add oil to that. I don't like to add oil unless this substance is literally so hard, it's not mobile. Now, of course, that's tickling his eardrums. Look at all the hair that's come out. So, and we've only just started. So, Albie, I'm sure you've got a bit of head shaking to do. Look at the hair in around the ear. Oh my word, Albie. Albie, 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 I know. This has been caught right down in his, in his eardrum, which is not, not great. I'm sure Albie doesn't feel it's a good place for it to be. I know, poor little fella. Oh, Albie, I know his, his stuff is coming out even as he shakes his head. I know, what thick ears you go, got, dear Albie. Look at it. It's just all falling out now. There it comes. But we need to get that. No, it tickles a lot, doesn't it, little fella? But we're going to get it out. All these hairs that are coming out every single time. You're seeing them against, maybe if you see against my black glove. You can see how long they are. They really do go down his ear canal. I know. Now, just looking very carefully there. I'll be good boy. Here we go. Just getting these out. He does not like his ears being touched, which they're probably fairly feeling. Look at all the things falling out. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. I'm sorry. This shouldn't have happened, hey? Yeah. He's also got it coated all over his ear. And you'll see it drop off. I know, this is flaky. Flaky. It's been sitting there for ages. You can see how thick it is. Look at the droppings coming out. Albie, Albie. Albie, sweetheart, we're going to get you feeling so much better very soon. Now, of course, he's got such a very thick coat and that doesn't help in terms of build up in around the ears because it tends to keep everything there in situ. I know, I know. You're going to get some big treats after this, Albie. It's getting a bit cranky with me. It's all right. We're going to go in the bath in a minute, which... Now, I really don't know how long it has been since Elvis had a bath or if he's even had one, but by the state of him, it's been a while. Yeah, just get all these big, hey, hey, cranky pants. You're a big, big boy too. Big, big boy. It's one of the biggest guinea pigs we've had come in because we just don't see them that large. They're beautiful, Albie. There we go. Good boy. Let's just get this all out, eh? Oh, Albie. Oh, Albie. <laughs> the big cough. The big cough. Oh, little fella. Oh. Oh, my word. This crusty stuff. Yeah. Let's get it out, hey? It's going to take a bit of work. We're going to have you looking a lot better. Okay, we're going to leave that ear as it is for now. We're going to come back to it later, but I am going to swap around and 
I know. Let's just take a peek over here at this other side, Albie. Oh, this is not the other ear, not the other ear. But yes. Oh dear. All right. Albie, let's pull. Pull out. It's sitting there. Good boy. That's it. There you go. Come on, big fella. And he's got this big abscess here that we have to be mindful of. Oh no, we're not gonna we're not gonna touch that. Could very well be connected to what's going on with his ear. This one I am going to add some oil to, and it's very rare that you see me do this. Simply because we would not want oil going into our own ears. And uh you wouldn't want it going down your ear canal, but it does soften very hard material that's been there for years and years. And in Albie's case, it has been there for a very, very long time. There we go. There you go, Albie. Look. Look at that. Let me see if I can just work this out. Good boy. You can see each time there's hairs coming out with that. There's lots of hair in there. I'll be a good boy. Oh, good boy. Look at this. All down his ear canal. Holy dooly. Yeah, I bet that tickles big time. I bet it does. Why? I bet it does. Look, there's so much hair coming out of there. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. Poor little fella. More. You're shaking your head, a poor little thing. You're not so little though, are you? Oh, that's a boy. Good boy. Let's just get this all out. Look at this. You need to get you feeling a lot better, Albie, hey? A lot better. Ah, oh, big boy. Big boy. I know, I'm sure glad you came to see me. I am. Yeah, he... Yeah, he... Oh, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. Come on. It's gonna be all right. It will, it will be all right. Let's just be over there. I'm actually, in terms of his ears, we're going to leave it at that for now, but we're going to put him through a bath first because if you look at the state of his coat, Albie has not had a bath in a very, very long time and you can see how matted and heavy his coat is. Now, people often ask how often you should bath a guinea pig. So, let's take a look at that. Bathing a guinea pig is something we do several times a year and it really depends on their environment and what they're exposed to if you need to increase that or decrease decrease that. Now for Albie, if we look at his coat, what you'll notice is it's very, very clumped and it's waxy. So it hasn't been, he hasn't been bathed in a very, very long time, this fellow. And all his hair, even though it's coming out without loose skin, so um, in that sense, you know, he has a good coat of hair. He's rather like a mat. And this clumpiness, this waxy feeling is simply through not having had a bath. So he's got a lot of gunk in and around him all the way over 
we're going to give him a bath and make him feel a whole lot better and a whole lot lighter as well because this coat really does add a lot of thickness and depth to him that isn't even attached you know touching any parts of it it just comes out so he will lose a lot of this in the wash but he's going to feel so much better after it so let's take care of that now hi just a quick intermission we have an Amazon wish list which is in the link down below and if you click on that it shows you a number of items that we love to use and we frequently run out of so take a look at that and just know that you're helping us help the animals here in care. We will feature them in upcoming videos and we appreciate your support no end. Let's continue with the video. Back on these ears and this time um, we can get a better look now, but you'll notice his ears are so dirty and discolored at the back. This is still stuck on his ears. I know. We're going to do a bit more about getting that off just to make it a bit better. This is when you do need to have, you do need to add oil because it's just so difficult to remove without that it's so hard it's been there so long so you actually have pink ears Alby, not black ears <laughs> let's see if we can find them hey oh he's had so much done he has you can see they're slowly getting more pink good good boy and it's very sensitive on their ears very very sensitive We're not going to do too much we're just going to do enough so that when we apply medication like Ivermec it'll be absorbed I know I'll be I'll be I'll be good boy get this dirt in there hey oh my word okay let's get that little patch because it is really really thick Alright, we'll see. We'll get there. We'll find your little pink ears. We will. Good boy. Good boy. You see, slowly but surely, little pink ears are starting to appear. Um, been here a long time Alby. Yeah we're not going to do too much again because he's almost had enough for today but the bulk of it and look how lovely his ears are now on the inside. Yay good boy. So much better. Okay let's do your other one. Good boy. Up over here. Good. And you'll see how black his ear is. He actually has a pink ear. Same thing. It's got some oil on there. It's the only thing that will soften it. You can use any oil, mineral oil, um, olive oil, whatever oil you have. Um, some oils are much thicker than others. This is the problem if you're putting it in the eardrum because it can, can go down and you wouldn't want it in your own eardrum. But slowly we can move this off. Good boy. Let's see, let's get that here. Yeah. Little fella. I know. You're gonna be unrecognizable, don't you think? What do you think? Do you think so? Um, it's okay to there. I don't think you've had a bath in years, years and years and years. So the next time you question if your guinea pig should have a bath, please take another look at Albie and give them a bath at least several times a year because it really does make all the difference. 
Yeah, right down to people who've had cases of mites, they've said that they've applied the the um, Ivermec or Revolution behind the ears, but their ears, if you think about it, being so caked and dirty, may not absorb all of it. It could run off if they're so, so dirty. So having clean ears is important. Looking pinker all the time. good now yeah you're on the home straight you're on the home straight <laughs> hey are you seeing our videos all the time yet please click on that subscribe button right now so that you can enjoy more content and others can find us too bye